that is mom. And this is, this is my beautiful mom because Babcha Bubu Taina. She hates onions and she learned this phrase in Polish, Niente Bula, whenever we were in Poland, whenever she was ordering food. Why? Because everything in Poland has onion. Obviously. <laughs> and by the way, Vigo hates onion also. Oh yeah, he so doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no cebolla. We just came here to a restaurant called Adrian Tropical. It's a very famous Dominican restaurant. They have typical Dominican food. We come here particularly for one dish called mofongo. We love it. Um, so we're here with my mom, our friend Robert, who is they say Uncle Robert. Caro is there and the little one fell asleep in the car. We will wake him up after we order. Uh, so it's really good. Uh, I'll give you a tour of the place because it's very like tropical, very Dominican like Caribbean. And also we're gonna show you the dishes, okay? So come along with us. Okay guys, so here we have the epitome of Dominican beer is Presidente, the oldest Dominican beer, it's perfect the most famous. Weather. What is it for? It's perfect for hot weather because it's very light in flavor. It's mm. not as big and heavy. And when I moved here, I remember I was like, this is not beer. This is beer <laughs> flavored lemonade. But when you are in such heat, yeah. you drink like European beer, it's too heavy. It's perfect, no? Yeah. Is, um, and then what is this? Frozen lemonade, lim limonada frozen, which we order yeah. for Vigo. We just ask so that it's low on sugar because usually it's very high on sugar. Yeah. So you have sugar, you have lemon juice or like lem limes or lemons. Yeah. Ice and it's blended in a blender. Yep. Sweet cherry on top. It's very refreshing. Very. We are here. We managed to find in Adrian Tropical vegan mofongo. I, we are so surprised, aren't we? Oh yeah. They have this one called Special Mofongo. Robert is having Sancocho, Dominicano, soy ham. Jamon, right? Yeah. Shinka soyoba. Wow. Shinka soyoba. Yeah, it's a good impression. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the common thing, obviously. It's not the common thing. It's not the common thing. It's not the common thing. It's not the common Sí, sí, nos vamos ya. ¿Dónde está ahí? Mira, sí, sí. Pigo, nos vamos. Allá están tus bizcochos. No. ¿Tú quieres tus bizcochos? He's a little shy. He's like hiding from the kids. Yeah, I know. Ay, ay, ay. 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 Saludos, 
Muy linda. Mira los regalos, Diego, mira los regalos. Ven, vamos a ver. Mira la construcción, Vigo. Una construcción como Bob of Nietzsche. Así. Llegaron en una. Oye, igualito aquí. Mira los dos bizcochos, mira. Ñam, ñam, ñam. Y son tuyos, esos juguetes son tuyos. Y, y este es de arcoíris adentro cuando tú lo cuando cortes. Tú lo, tú lo vas a ver yeah. lleno de arcoíris, mi amor. Eso, para tú verlo. Para que lo vea con bubu, güey. Son tuyos. Ay, ya. Mm. Son tuyos, son tuyos. Ok, todo para mí, entonces van poniendo acá todo. Así, por el... ¿Tu nombre? Me llamo Sofía. Sofía, bienvenida al cumpleaños de Ivo. Dándole la bienvenida a todos los niños. Te van a decir bienvenido a toda la fiesta de mi niña y así vamos a iniciar. Gracias, Sofía. Gracias, Sofía. Dime mi vida. We are in what is called the Three Eyes National Park, or, or in Spanish, Los Tres Ojos. This is a series of caves, and there are three lakes. Uh, it's uh, the caves are made of limestone. One of the most visited tourist attractions in the DR. Uh, I haven't been here in quite a long time. I don't think you've been here, right, babe? Never, no. I don't think I brought her when we were living here, but um, we're gonna go see. It's actually pretty cool. This is the biggest lake, and there used to be a guy that you could pay him, um, I don't know, back in the time, something, and he would jump, and you could see him jump all the way from up here. No problem. You guys have to see this. It's so human. Look at this. Ah. Jesus, look at that. Look at you. You look like you just came out of a shower. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. In Spanish, yeah. those things, if they come from the top, they're called stalactitas. And if they go from the bottom, they're called stalagmitas, I think. How is it in Polish? That's what I think, because I remember that you have like a mnemonic device or yeah. like a trick to remember. The T looks like it's falling from the top and ah. M, it looks like it's growing up. Growing. So it's stalactic, stalagmit. Okay, okay. Let's go. 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 Let's here, that big monument that you see right there, it's called Faro Colón. It's the Christopher Columbus lighthouse. It was uh, built and inaugurated in 1992, and it was done to commemorate, commemorate the 500th anniversary of uh, the first voyage of Christopher Columbus. So, right there is the Faro Colón.
this right here is a Pope mobile and I believe this was the the car that um, Jean Paul II or your the beloved uh, Jan Pavel Drugi used when he visited the Dominican Republic It said there's a dispute saying that Dominicans say that the Columbus uh, remains are in here. Um, Spanish people say that his remains are in, in Seville. Um, there's a dispute right there, so I just don't want to go there. That's politics. But that lighthouse over here has a very big beam of light that they turn it on at night. Goes all the way, illuminates the sky. You can see it across from practically any point of Santo Domingo. All these flags here, Dominican flags, and the Senate of the of our country. You see this monument? It has a globe of, of Earth, and it's called La Bolita del Mundo. Here is the Bolita del Mundo, and it used to be an area full of prostitutes. So whenever, oh, when, trivia. yeah, whenever you used to say you were going to the Bolita, they would always say, "What are you gonna do there?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at this traffic, and we are waiting here, and I think we're gonna wait for a while because <laughs> I don't think people walking. I mean, maybe in theory we do have uh, preference, but I don't think anyone cares about that. They don't respect that here, no. Look at that traffic. Oh, he's, oh let's go. Ven, Vigo. Dame la manita. A papá. Eso! Coco! We are in what Carolina says is the most Instagrammable place. Que lindo Vigo! Mira que lindo mi amor! Okay, babe, so tell us, what do you think of this promenade here? Well, the problem is that it's too close to a very busy street. So yeah. You cannot really utilize it. Like, it would be cool if there were like bars and here and shops and the beach was like functional swimming. Yep, but I agree with you. This is um, a criticism on my own country and, and city. This coastline here is the coastline from from you know Santo Domingo this is called the Malecon so this street here it's called uh, Avenue George Washington but commonly known as Malecon in my opinion it has not been exploited or used in the in the best way possible because like she says we have all this beautiful coastline and it should be more accessible to people by food you know, so the people can you know walk around. They did a, a, a good job recent in the last years of paving this, you know, the sidewalk and all that. That for sure has been an improvement. But there's, hold on, noise. I believe that all of this could be used better. But Santo Domingo is a city that is mostly a car, so there are. Too many cars on the roads um, in public transportation is not as good. You're like, Como está todo? Policia turistica. That's the touristic uh, police, so they are protecting people like us. Well, like Carolina. Carolina's a tourist. I, I'm a tourist already here. I, I like to say good things about my country, but I also have to say the things that need to be improved. So a coast like this, that is actually very pretty, if it's cleaned properly, could be could be a gold mine for tourists. And that water is getting too close to me. I don't want to get dirty water on me. So yeah, but we're trying. Our authorities are trying to make the Dominican Republic a better place, not only for foreigners, but for Dominicans.